in the winter, black is the new white. So let me show you another way to do your press on toenails. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back. So do you see something different here? Yes, no more red bowl, okay? I actually got a new foot bath for Christmas. I'm so, so excited because now I get to upgrade. So this is the Bubble Bliss. I'm not too sure where it came from due to me getting it as a present. Um, but with this, it's a lot bigger than what the red bowl normally is. If you don't know what the red bowl is because you're new here, I'm going to go ahead and give you a card up above. So what I did was I went ahead and put warm water in it. These are interchangeable massagers. Um, so I went ahead and used this one. It seems as if it might be a little bit uh, more soothing for my liking. What I have in here right now is I just have the um, Dr. Teal's bubble bath and then I'm going to put some Dr. Teal bath salt in there as well. And then I'm also going to go ahead and put some apple cider vinegar. So just to give you a, a few properties of apple cider vinegar for your feet. Um, it can help with various foot problems like dry feet, warts, and tired foot. And it also has antifungal properties for soaking your feet daily in a vinegar foot bath. And it could help fight off fungal infections such as athlete's foot. So it's really, really good. Um, as you've seen there, I put a, too much bubble bath in because the bubbles started rising up and overflowing. The bubbles just kept coming and kept coming and kept coming. So I had to do something about this really quick. So what I basically did was I emptied that out. Um, I just put water in it. And of course, I put the bath salt as well and the ACV. Okay, and then if you see this, this is new as well. I'm just upgrading like crazy. So I got this from Ross. It was $3.99 and it has a smooth side in addition to a rough side. So the directions you want to go ahead and use um, the rough side first to make sure you get your calluses and dry feet and then the smooth side so you can go ahead and smooth everything out. And as always, I'll also leave the um, card for the other video so you can get in, in depth of what I use each. Um, so here I'm doing it in a different spot um, because I feel like it's going to be a little bit more easier for me to film on um, a bed versus on the floor. So what I'm basically just doing is I'm going to push back my cuticles, make sure you're soft on it and delicate. Then I'm going to go ahead and file my toenail. So just like how I do in my other videos, nothing has changed for the prep. Like I said, I'll go ahead and put the card up above so you can go ahead and get a more in depth. Once that's done, we want to make sure that we get any um, excess oils or debris off of our nails so we can make sure that our press on would adhere perfect to it. Um, so you want to make sure that you, of course, do not miss this step. Okay, so once we have all of that done, we want to make sure we use the alcohol to go ahead and take off all of the um, fouling debris that we left behind and here's the press on nails um, this is the kiss press on nails that I've used before we want to make sure that you go ahead and you measure out your toes and make sure you take those out just so it can be a lot easier for you just like this make sure you get a pair so this video is especially for my ladies that paint outside of the lines like me so we're going to actually paint the press on toenail prior to us actually putting it on so this may be a lot easier for some of you and it surely was a little bit more easier for me um, and I will show you some mistakes I did run into toward the end but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure that you do two coats of the black and then after you do the two coats of the black you want to make sure that you allow it to dry in between coats and then go ahead and put your top coat on. Now, the issue that I did have was I put too much fingernail polish on the press on toenail and you will see why in a little bit. So when you're doing this, make sure that you put on a thin coat of each 
because it'll end up coming out vibrant once you put two coats on anyway. And so I had to move it to the postcard because it was sticking to the washcloth. So we're going to go ahead and put on our glue just like normal. Make sure you allow these to dry. Now this is the issue I ran into. So me pressing it down, it ended up leaving a fingerprint on my press on. And that was basically in large part because I put way too much fingernail polish on the press on nail. But it's okay because I'm going to go ahead and mess up so you guys won't. Um, so what I basically had to do is I had to go back in and I had to repolish it and then put another top coat on it, which it came out fine in the end. Um, but to avoid that, just make sure, like I said before, do a thin layer of fingernail polish. This still worked out because I did not have to make sure that I was inside of the lines and I didn't have to do the extra step by doing the acetone around it. And as you've seen, I tried to use the postcard just to see if it wouldn't mess it up, but it still messed it up. So I basically just went ahead and pressed all of the nails on. And by the way, I did let this dry for roughly about an hour, but I must have had to let it dry a little bit longer. But like I said, once you do the thin layer, you're fine. So now I'm going to go ahead and use um, any type of oil that you want to. I use the rose oil like I normally do. Go ahead and place that on my cuticles and rub that in because we still want to pamper ourselves throughout of all of this. Um, once I go ahead and rub that in, I'm going to go ahead and massage my toes just to give me a little pamper session. And then you're going to go ahead and use your favorite lotion. Go ahead and get your lotion on your feet. Um, once you do the uh, cuticle oil and then the lotion, what I did was I went ahead and put the cuticle oil back on it because the lotion kind of let it um, let the shine go away. But this is basically the finished product. I love my toenails. I love black. I think it's so, so classy. And I cannot wait for you guys to try it. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.